Hello everyone, I hope that you are all doing well. This is me Sayyad Shuryatullah. Welcome to Achievers Academy. Today we are taking up a very important module in our group 1 TSPSC examination for the purpose of that. That is Telangana policies. A very confusing topic among the aspirants at this point of time. They are very much worried that what to read in that actually. What is its Telangana policies? Is it schemes? What is this all about? So a lot of confusion is there. But we are going to bust here your confusion and you are going to be expert in this particular topic. Okay. So let us start our discussion with a very simple word that need to be understood by you. Otherwise the total policy related whatever the lectures we are having will go out of your mind. So it is very important that you observe and focus keenly the discussion that I am going to begin here. Okay. Let us start that. What is the meaning of policy? This is very important. What is the meaning of policy? Once you are aware of this, what is the meaning of policy? Then I don't have to tell you also what could be there in the policy. You by yourself will understand that, okay, this part should come in the policy. This part should come in the policy. This is how it is. So you can understand by yourself itself. Okay, right. Policy is nothing but it is a long term plan. What is it? It is a long term plan. In this long term plan, plan systematic, systematic arrangements, arrangements of activities, systematic arrangement of activities, okay, along with, along with the very important prerequisite under the policy is effective coordination, effective coordination, okay. So it's a long term plan, a systematic arrangement of activities and with effective coordination among departments among various departments of the government or administration for what purpose why all of this to achieve to achieve a determined already we determined to, to achieve a predetermined goal or objective already we determined okay we want to achieve so and so we want to reduce the poverty by 10% we want to increase the employment by 20%. We want to decrease the BPL population by 30 lakhs. We want to what spend money on the startups and we want to see more startups in our state. So that is a predetermined objective. To have this predetermined objective, to complete this predetermined objective, a very big document will be released by the government. That is called as policy. Policy, you can also understand, it's also called as what vision document. What it is called as? It is called as vision document means government is envisioning okay we want to be like this government is envisioning okay we want to prosper in this way government is envisioning that so and so here telangana will be developed state a environment sustainable state a economic sustainable state where economic sustainability is nothing but where you and me our father okay whoever are working are there whoever are the uh, head of the families are there they are having continuous income they are having what? Continuous income. That is called as economic sustainability of an individual. You are earning today, this month, next month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month. If you are continuously earning, that is called as what? Economic sustainability of an individual or you can call it as income sustainability of an individual. When this continuous generation of income is there, you will be properly, what? Uh, you will prosper in your life or not? Yes. You will have a decent standard of living or not? Yes. Okay. So this is... Uh, very very important aspect about what policy environment sustainability economic sustainability increase in gdp increase in per capita income increase in industrialization decrease in poverty increase in employment all of these could form various aspects of a policy policy is nothing but a framework a frame this is a frame Okay, one department will carry out this work, one department will carry out this work, one department will carry out this work. So all departments together they coordinate and they will try to make sure that okay, poverty they will bring it down or employment they will increase. This is called as policy. Long term, it will not be just six months, it will not be for one or two years. Policies are nothing but long term plans that has been planned or you can say designed by the government in order to achieve certain predetermined objectives. Okay, that is what is policy. It's a very comprehensive and holistic way, way of achieving what? Goals. That is called as a policy. 
Now, we understood what is policy. Now, we have to understand ultimately government, ultimate objective of government is there. What is the government's ultimate objective? Ultimate objective with regard to what policy? Means at the end what government wanted to achieve with the help of the policy. Okay. Government want to achieve welfare state which is mentioned in part 4th of DPSP. Part 4th of our constitution deals with direct principle of state policy. If you go through the articles of DPSP from 36 to 51, you will see lot of objectives. Okay, lot of instructions were given to the state governments, state governments to bring in what? Social progress in the society, to bring in economic progress in the society, to bring in environmental sustainability in the society. Social, environment, economic, three aspects are properly mentioned in what? Our DPSP. If you are going through the DPSV, you will come across that some article talk about conservation of natural resources. Some articles talk about animal slaughter should be banned. Some articles talk about nutrition level should increase. Some articles talk about decrease in inequalities of income. Some articles talk about giving nutrition to the undernutrition or malnutrition. Some articles talk about men and women gender equality. Some articles talk about worker participation in the industries are you getting my point here what is this all about this is all about okay these instruments these instructions should be incorporated in the policy of the government and what are these instructions they are social progress instruction economic progress instructions and environment sustainable instructions are there the ultimate objective of any government through the policy is to make that particular state or a country as a welfare state welfare faring well means what everyone you me everyone should fare well when can we fare well when we are having what environment is very very good around us there is no pollution is there no contamination is there safe drinking water you are using that is called as okay you are faring well okay then your livelihood your livelihood is sustainable or not today you got money this month you got salary, next month you got salary, third month you got salary, fourth month you got salary. So, you are having income sustainability, livelihood security you are having, economic sustainability is there. Right? Economic sustainability is nothing but where government is creating economic, uh, economic sector in such a way that we are getting employment again and again, again and again, again and again. With that we are earning also recurrently and we are maintaining our decent standard of living where we are actually able to fulfill all our basic needs all our basic needs that is what is called as policy okay i hope this is clear to you and the most important topic that is telangana policies we are going to start in our module today in our module today many policies are there that we are going to see one by one what is important for prelims what is important for mains where you have to restrict your preliminary preparation Okay, what could be your way of answering in the mains? All that I will be giving you. And apart from that, I will give you at the end of the module, I will give you summary. Summary is nothing but tidbit points. Tidbit point means policy, okay, year, objective, vision, main goals, targets. That's all. Like that, I will give you a summary also. So that at the time of prelims, you can just go and you can just clear your exam just like that and you come back happily smiling on your faces okay right let us go ahead let us see some policies that we have got so you can see here textile policy textile policy we are going to study and the moment i say textile policy you might be getting in your mind no okay textile policy is nothing but government has planned to develop the textile sector maybe 20 percent contribution in the gdp should come from textile sector and these many industries should come from textile sector and mechanization should be there more machines should be used in textile sector and textile uh, related whatever the dying companies government should promote more startups should be there if any textile companies are having a problem government should give money all these are what aspect of what policies are only or not yes so textile policy we are going to see after that we also have a industrial policy framework a very famous you are right whatever you are getting in your mind that is very true the moment you come across industrial policy framework only in telangana the student will only remember only one thing what is that 
TS I pass. TS I pass. This policy also we are going to see. Right? Now, we will also see Telangana Rural Technology Centers Policy 2016. Okay, some may not have the years. No need to worry about it. When we go into the discussion, that will be anyhow there. Fine. Rural Technology. In rural areas, many of the occupations, they does not actually use technology. Because of that what is happening, they are having lot of hardships. Hardships are nothing but you are working more even though there is a comfortable technology is available. But you are trying to work more. Okay, that is called as hardships. Suppose you go to the rural area, you go to a furniture making shop. He will, what he will be doing? He will be having a seesaw and he will be doing like this. Right or wrong? Okay, this is stressing or not, this shoulder will pain, this shoulder will pain. Okay, then he has to rest. But if you are having that machine that actually circle like that, okay, like that will be there, no? It is easy or not? Yes. In our country, in our country, not only in our state, in our country also, rural areas are not adopting this technology. They are not taking up this technology. The reason could be what? Very, very simple, you can understand. The reason could be lack of money. They don't have money to purchase it. Who doesn't want to use things which are which are making their life better, which are making their work comfortable, right? Anyone will adopt it. But the thing is that they are costly. They are unable to buy because lump sum, 10,000, 15,000 lump sum, they should have it. A security guard salary will be 5 to 6,000. So understand that in that 5 to 7,000 like that, in, even in Hyderabad. So how can he, how can he buy such kind of things, right or wrong? He cannot buy that because he has to look after the family. So many of our rural, occupations whatever we are having may whether it is uh, textile is there whether it is uh, dyeing is there any kind of okay whether it is chip making is there okay whether it is rassi making that is choir making is there rope making is there okay many of these occupations are not using the technology not using the technology so with this policy with this policy government of telangana wanted to extend extend the government support to the rural areas please adopt technology and make your life better okay suppose why why government of uh, telangana want to do that it is having dual benefit one is if he stop doing this and if this having that chakri will run and he can able able to cut it just like that okay his art hardship will decrease first of all the next is the next is he can produce more furniture within the given period of time okay per day if he is cutting 100 locks okay per day if he is able to cut optimally if he is able to cut with a seesaw 100 locks 100 wood planks with the help of technology he can do 1000 right or wrong so his productivity will increase okay time and what production is there these two factors uh, when they are related then you call it as productivity Productivity will increase. Productivity increases means TS GDP will increase. Right or wrong? Yes. That is the reason dual benefits are there. So, so here we are going to see what kind of technological policy is government has adopted in rural areas. Another one is Telangana open data policy. Open data is nothing but data is there on the portal. Okay, you just have to sign in in the portal. And if you want to know what is the demographic features of Telangana, how many are adult, how many are children, how many are old people, how many are male, how many are female, how many are literate, how many are not literate, how many are farmers, how many are not farmers, how many are IT employees like that. So data is open. Okay, with the help of the data, you can, the you and me, if we know the data, we can do what? We can, okay, give solutions to the problems in the society. Solutions in the problems to the society let's suppose open data in that open data i have found i just log in in the computer i just found it that lot of road accidents are happening lot of road accidents are happening so i got an idea how to stop this particular road accidents so i will put a proposal to the government sir these many road accidents are happening if you are making a bridge like this it should not be in this way the engineering designs has to be like this or else the people and most of the accidents are happening as it was reported in the data that most of the accidents and deaths are happening because of non-wearing of helmets, sir. Okay, and those who are wearing also, the helmet is not protecting them. So you have to actually increase the standards of what? 
helmet so that it should be more stronger and can bear what larger impact also and can bear what larger impact also getting my point here so with the help of data you and me can read it and can find out the gaps okay where the products are not available and we can start the business and venture in that particular gaps and can okay can better can better ourselves and can also contribute into the gdp that is called as open data policy if you are very good in current affairs also you can also uh, you 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 also you may also know that uh, this year budget nirmala madam our finance minister she also announced geospatial data policy geospatial industry or geospatial data policy right so basically what i uh, what uh, i want to say you that data is very important to design what products okay right so here we are going to see what is the policy what is the target what government want to do okay in this particular sector another one is telangana data analytics policies a part of it that i have already explained to you by giving a real example i have given to you right so telangana data analytics analytic means data is given to you analyze suppose i gave a data of 100 students 100 students of five subjects five subjects i gave a data to you then i asked you how many of the students have got average marks in okay what is the average marks of english then i told you that in english who got what is the topper difference and what is the bottom most student difference what is the difference this is called as what analysis and we call it as as we are doing with technology and we are doing with computer we call it as analytics but actually in a normal process it is called as analysis only common sense analytics is not different from analysis both are same as because we do on computer we call it as analytics as we do in hand it is called as analysis okay so this analysis will only help us to understand that where in the where is the gap and where we can fill up with regard to the new innovative models and solutions then this is very very good telangana iot policy what is it telangana iot policy iot policy means what internet on things or internet of things okay what does it mean generally in iot there are two kinds of uh, two kinds of products are manufactured in iot how many kinds of products are manufactured two kinds of products are manufactured one type of product is one type of product is wearable devices wearable devices another type of product is non wearable devices what is it non wearable devices wearable and non wearable okay suppose i am having okay a watch there with the watch i can off and on ac also of my home so internet is there on what things this is my thing internet is there on what things and it is wearable i have i wore it i wore it and i can go anywhere i can operate my systems connected systems just like you connect bluetooth you connect your computer with the help of with your mobile no so i will also get connect with our uh, what uh, things around materials around and instruments and equipments in our home i can also get connected and i can operate from here wearable non wearable devices are nothing but you might have seen the deepika padukone uh, advertisement right okay come on alexa play the sound come on alexa play the music you are not wearing it you are not actually wearing it but still you are able to access what you are able to access the operation of what various equipments various instruments in our home right or wrong yes so those are called as non wearable devices okay so what kind of policy government of telangana want to uh, what to have and what kind of objectives the government of telangana want to uh, get from this policy we will also see about it okay right then everything is there on the what okay this much of open data policy is there data related is there okay internet of thing is there then the government of telangana also launched t app folio okay t wallet so many things in our state has been digitized right or wrong many things in our state has been digitized when the data is on the computer is on the computer then they will then the data will suffer from a okay hacking or not yes so how government of telangana when it is going for so much of digitization how it is going to protect our data from leakage from leakage for that purpose government of telangana has proposed or you can say that they have introduced 
تلنگانہ سائبر سیکیورٹی پولیسی تلنگانہ سائبر سیکیورٹی پولیسی اگین تو گیو انویشن انویشن انگسٹنٹ تو میک یو مور کریئیٹیو تو می تو میک یو فیل دیٹ اوکے یور مائنڈ شوڈ واٹ ایور دیر از دا مائنڈ شوڈ بی کمنگ آن دی واٹ ایز اے پروڈکٹ واٹ ایور دا آئیڈیا یو آر ہیونگ شوڈ کم ایز اے پروڈکٹ اوکے دیر آر مینی پیپل ہو وانٹیڈ ٹو بی لائک انوالو ان واٹ گیمنگ پرپز سو ٹو پروموٹ سچ پیپل سچ انویسٹرس ہو وانٹیڈ ٹو ڈیولپ دی گیمنگ انڈسٹری وچ از لائک بومنگ لائک اینی تھنگ سو وی آلسو ایٹ دا فرسٹ ٹائم ان انڈیا اٹ سیلف وی ہیو گاٹ a state have got a gaming animation policy which is not there with any other state at this point of time okay so the companies which want to make games the companies which want to work on animations please come to telangana okay please come to telangana we are ready to help you out whatever the your requirements and infrastructure whatever you want we are ready to give you okay please be a part of our growth like that we are calling them so we have got this gaming and animation policy also Okay, the next one, Telangana Data Centers Policy. Telangana Data Centers Policy is similar policy to the open data. So, we will discuss about that also. Okay, right. Then Telangana Innovation Policy, very, very important. Telangana Innovation Policy. Here, government of Telangana want you and me or the investors or the businessmen you and me or the investors or the businessmen government of telangana wants what wants to start business units okay to to manufacture innovative products to manufacture innovative products which are not there at this point of time which are not there at this point of time so they were uh, uh, charger was there no okay bank charge where you can charge anywhere also that was not there before the batteries were draining like anything then we used to use that power bank and we used to use that power bank and we used to charge our batteries right or wrong at that time that was an innovative product or not at that time that's that's that product solved our problems of battery or not yes now the batteries have got very very good and you don't need that power banks at all so batteries are coming for two two years three three days they are running so that much of mph batteries you are having but before that it was innovation or not yes so that problem was solved by the manufacturers or not yes so here also government of telangana wants the entrepreneurs please come please come and we you invest in the innovative products you invest in the innovative products like that okay then electronic policy means electric equipments related what is the policy what is the policy electric equipments like your fan is there like your light is there okay like cameras are there projects are there these are runs on what only electricity they are all running on what electricity my bike is there my car is there it will not run on what electricity they run on petrol and diesel i'm not talking about ev again okay they can run on ev also but i'm just saying you that electric electronic policy is nothing but the things that require electricity that require batteries that require what batteries okay so to promote that kind of electronic items electronic manufacturing products in our country in our state this particular policy was launched right then incentives for expansion about it and ites it and it is very very important word my dear students it means information technology you know it very very well i am calling you i am sending you some information higher what are you doing okay we have to go to tomorrow like that i told you this information is passed to you what is the technology here here technology telecommunication technology is there what is the tele uh, technology here telecommunication technology what is there in this telecommunication technology my mobile is there this is one product and towers are there which are taking these signals and capturing these signals and sending to you so tower and internet and my mobile this is called as what technology information technology means email email is also information technology only you are able to send what you want to convey you are able to send the information to anyone who want to convey okay without being present also okay to the long distances within a span of time within a fraction of time that is called as information technology another one we are having ites very very important ites is nothing but information technology enabled services now you have to see it very very focusedly and concentrate what i am saying now very very important to you ites 
Information Technology Enabled Services. What does it mean? IT means you know information technology. Enabled services. Services, nothing but education, nothing but health, nothing but food, anything, any service you take care. Gym, etc. Any service. Service sector, you take any service. These services can be enabled. Means you can also enable, you can also give these services with the help of what? IT. With the help of what? IT. Just like Ola is there. You don't have to go to that particular adda or to that particular place and ask for what? Are we want a car for rent. You don't have to do that. You just put Ola and Uber. So the service of car, the car service, the transportation service is enabled by IT or not? Yes. Now you can also know that Cult is there, Cult Fit is there, Healthify app is also there. There online workouts are given, online dietitians are recommending us what to eat, what not to eat. So that service got enabled with the help of information technology or not? Yes. So government of Telangana also want lots of services okay, to be integrated with technology. So that if it is like that, no, even a super specialty doctor in Hyderabad and a person who are in the rural area can take the advice from a super specialty doctor. Okay, because he cannot come here. He cannot come here. The cost will be very high. And where he should stay, all these problems will be there. So he can get easily access to quality services across the world. Across the world. That is why it is very important that services has to be enabled for IT in order to have more penetration okay, in the rural and remote areas. Then you see here, Telangana e-waste management policy. This much of big high-tech city is there. Right? E-waste is nothing but electronic waste. Now this smart body is there. After 5 years, after 4 years, it will not work. We will throw it. It is e-waste only. Your camera is there. You will throw it. It is e-waste only. So whatever the electronic items we are having, they are having a lifespan. And we are just dumping them like anything. Okay? They are going into what rivers. They are blocking the channels. They are like blocking the lakes. Right? So, how to manage this e-waste? How to manage this e-waste? This is called as Telangana e-waste management policy 2017. Okay, right. And the last one we are having, Telangana electronic vehicle policy 2020 recently launched. Recently launched. Okay. So, electric vehicles detect energy related we are having a policy. Obviously, what kind of energy we are promoting? The whole country is also promoting what? Renewable energies. Whole country is promoting what? Renewable energies. So that kind of policies you can expect in that solar energy, geothermal energy as because Telangana is completely exposed to what? Out of 365 days, 300 days we are exposed to sunlight. So there is a good amount of opportunities there that we can what uh, stimulate what? Solar energy sector or not? Yes. So let us also see that what kind of energies are given push under this particular policy. Apart from that, we also have e-governance policies also there, which is not listed here. We will also see about it. E-governance and all the initiatives we are going to see. Another policy is also there. Startup policy is also there, which is not mentioned here. We will also see the startup policy. Right. This is all we are going to cover in this particular Telangana policies module. Right. Now, let us see one by one. This is the various topics under subtopics that we are going to study. The first policy that we are going to study, the first policy that we are going to study, information communication. Information should be communicated with the help of the technology, with the help of the technology, like our mobile phone. Information will be communicated through mobile phone. So, various kind of communication technologies are there that we will also see. So, ICT policy framework 2016. Then you see electronic policy. All these we have seen, though the various subtopics are listed here. In ICT, uh, ICT policy, what are the features? In electronic policy, what are you going to discuss? Okay. Procurement policy is also there. Telangana creative and innovation policy is there. In this policy, we are going to discuss all these important aspects. Okay, then smart city policy is also there. This policy already we have discussed. This policy is already we have discussed. This policy already we have discussed. Under these policies, 
all these subtopics will be covered all these subtopics will be covered the internet of things this also we have discussed in a bit okay cyber security policy under this these very important initiatives we are going to discuss very important what is cert computer emergency response team if any hacking happens to any of the government institutions okay to track that particular hacker okay the nodal agency is what cert s c e c e r t what is the nodal agency cert fine cyber crime cell is there cyber grievances is there cyber forensics is there getting my point here then we will also see that e governance and m governance policy we will also see all the initiatives which are there which are a part of our syllabus okay then digital telangana versus digital india here we are going to see how telangana is increasing its digital reach with the help of the program what is the meaning of 4g services how we are promoting in our state wi-fi in the major cities and towns like hyderabad free wi-fi is given near tangman all that we are going to discuss in this particular policy then environment policy we have already seen energy related policy is there okay and e-waste related policies we are having okay refurbishing recycling what who are green warriors e-waste park women and vulnerable sections promotion and entrepreneurship policies are also there women and vulnerable sections like sc st and minorities okay we are promoting them to be entrepreneurs we are promoting them to entrepreneurs and what are the schemes where they will be promoted okay so you are having t pride you are having t idea and t prime fine then ts ipoise policy very very important this is a industrial policy famous industrial policy of the telangana across the country then we also have one agriculture policy called as telangana seed policy okay then for energy related we are having what telangana solar policy then we are having telangana vaccination policy which i have not discussed but we have to also discuss them telangana pharma policy is there the program under this policy that we are promoting with a brand name called as invest india under invest india we have got this telangana pharma policy okay then tfap policy food processing related one policy is there that also we have not discussed this also we will discuss in our lectures okay then t seed telangana should be as a seed ball means telangana state should produce majority quantity of volume of seeds uh, seeds in telangana should only be produced and we can distribute to different parts of the country so we should we should be the seed bowl of the india seed bowl and from this seed bowl means from telangana other states should uh, what give orders and we should supply we should become a major supplier of what seeds then it is called as what seed bowl okay so here also to certify the seeds that whether they are good or not we also have established authority called as telangana state seed and organic certification authority seed is chemically made synthetically made organic is which is derived from what plants and animals decomposition plants and animals decomposition so all of these policies whatever i have listed we are going to discuss one by one one by one